Good afternoon and welcome back to Alma, Missouri. Today is going to be a fun one. So we have quite a bit that needs to be mown, but this is going to be fairly easy in the grand scheme of things. We just need to mow a yard. What we're really excited about today is this. We are getting cattle today. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. We gonna get ready, baby, yeah! So the cows are going to go in there. I can hold up to 5,000 on here just because I've modified the heck out of it. <laughs> but we're not gonna get 5,000 cattle. We'll probably get uh, less. We will definitely probably get less. I've also got the enhanced animal system on here, but I gotta be honest with you, like, it's fun, but I'm not quite sure for my play style, this is going to be the best thing. So we'll probably end up removing that before we buy the cows. There we go, all right, we got that taken care of. That should make things a little bit easier. Okay, let's get to mowing. Let's have a little bit of fun doing this. I'm going to go ahead and enable my fast farming. Yes, sir. And then we'll get to mowing. So this whole field's gonna get mowing. I'm probably gonna go out towards the edges as well. A Little bit extra, never hurt nobody. Uh, once we get all this done, I'm gonna find the straight side. I believe it's on the far right end over there. We'll find that, and we will go ahead and hire up a worker on it, let him go back and forth, and then we'll come back through with our big old loading wagon and pick it all up. Now, hay on this farm, our farm, gets turned into, or hay rather, grass gets turned into hay. Then the straw gets turned into silage. Then we have way more straw than we need, because that's always the case. And that makes us some TMR, which is pretty darn cool in one of our three big old silos back there. So we're gonna be using all the TMR that we've got in there. I think we probably got three or 400,000 liters at this point, which is great news for us. So we're gonna be utilizing that to get our first cattle. We may also get some sheep as well. We'll see how much money we've got left after everything's said and done. I believe now we've got our tipper that we need for doing the animals. We've got our uh, tanker that we need for getting the milk out of there. We do need to put down something for the milk itself. Uh, yeah, I've got the uh, the disturbed uh, disturbed simulations. I believe is his modern name. Uh, he's got a really really cool milk mod that I use on literally every let's play, and nothing's changed. All done. Now all I need to do is hit everything from uh, this way. I think what I'm gonna do is do something a little bit different because this line is the same line that I run on this end. I think I may start it here. Maybe it'll turn out better. Possibly even worse. Hey, hey, it could be both. All right, so I need to find this. We're gonna turn on our window down there at the bottom so I can find my uh, 90 degree level. Let's see, 180, got it. Drop it down, turn it on, higher, quicker. Sweet, all right. Shouldn't have to do anything else with this field. I shouldn't have to do anything else with this field. Do you hear me? You know I'm gonna have to come back and do something else with this field because you're gonna mess it up. All right, let's buy some cattle. How many should we get? I know most of the time people get like 100 or 200, something like that. I'm gonna reimburse myself for the delivery fees because I don't feel like paying for those. Let's see, we got a million bucks. I say maybe spend like half of it. Oh, we should probably also see how much TMR we've got. That would have a lot to do with it. TMR, uh, we have... 333,000 liters. That's, yeah, that's pretty good. That, that's pretty good. All right. What kind of cows do we get on this map? Let's go with the Holstein cattle. We're going 18 months. That way they can start reproducing immediately. We'll go ahead and buy a set there. And then another 60 here. And I think another 60 there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. How many do we have right now? 300? Mmm, feel like we, ooh, we're we spending more of our money than I thought we would. I, I do want, I do want to get, oh, just 20 more, 20 more. Dude, this is so expensive, way more expensive than I thought. But we have 500 head of cattle, which is great news. We'll pop up here and see a uh, daily food, 175,000. Uh-oh. We sat in big trouble. Oh, I don't know if I can make that much in a day. I don't even know if we can get a hold of that much in a day. TMR, here we go. We'll, we'll dump this in here. Uh, probably not going to give them straw, but I also don't know where their manure goes either. I know the slurry goes in a pit way, way down here. Right. 
Man, that's a long way around. I went the wrong way. I uh, know the slurry goes right here, which is very cool. Uh, I don't know how much it holds, but yeah, it's there. Is there slurry already in this? No. Oh, that's disgusting. Filled up with TMR, and now let's go feed the cattle for the first time. Oh, it's so exciting. And by the way, our worker is actually doing quite well. That's literally exactly what I wanted. Sorry, I had to sneeze there. That was not fun. Uh, I don't know where the food goes, but I'm, I'm gonna guess that. Crash counter plus one. That was not good. Uh, maybe these fences weren't such a good idea. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. We'll pull through here. All right, we got our trigger. I'm gonna go ahead and open this door. That should make things a lot easier. And dump it out. The cattle are full. Filled. Yeah, well, they got a third of the food they need anyway, so that's what really matters. Uh, straw, I'm not quite sure where, like I said, I don't know where the manure goes. It doesn't look like there's any triggers around here, and I haven't done much research on where the manure goes. So, yeah. I do know the milk is right here. At least that's what makes the most sense. Yep. Well, after trying to do a little bit of research, I have concluded that I have no idea where the manure goes. Plus, at the bottom right-hand corner, manure isn't even there. Separated is, but not regular manure. So, what I'm going to do is delete these trees that we've got right here, and then I'm going to place down a manure pit. That way, I can just pull up next to it and just put the manure in here. We'll give them some straw. We've got way more straw than any farm should ever need, ever. Like, what do we have, like four or five million liters? I think we're probably okay. So let's get in here. Let's get our delete objects turned on. I'm gonna go underground so that I can locate some of these and then I'm gonna turn the opposite way. That way I don't accidentally delete anything that I want to keep. Yes, all right. This is good, this is good. Delete, ha 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 ha. And another one. Ooh, hello tree, goodbye tree. Get out of here, trees. Now that the trees are gone, let's go in. Let's paint a little bit of this. That way these bushes aren't here anymore. This will make things a little bit easier for us later on. So that way we just don't have to worry about bushes or anything else for that matter. So we'll get rid of these. Don't worry, I'll come back in and make that look really nice. So let's go into here. Let's go into silos and let's grab this guy. This will work perfectly fine. There are quite a few silos uh, in the game that you can use. This one just works pretty well gotta be honest with you it's just kind of nice so we'll put that there awesome and it almost looks like it's supposed to go there now we just got to do is decorate it with some trees and we're good to go and there you go couple little bushes over here make it look like you're supposed to back into there but you don't have to which is nice and there's a the flowers out front flowers might be a little bit too far out maybe we'll come through and do something with that later but i think it's okay for now yeah this is good save your game because I'm going to be an idiot and forget to do that later on. All right, let's do a quick check on everybody. This is going quite well, swimmingly even. So we should probably pick some of that stuff up. Let's find this guy. We'll get on out of here and at least bring him some straw. That way they can start producing manure for us. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what uh, what is the right amount of straw for these guys. At least not yet. We'll have to cool uh we'll have to wait a little bit while longer to see exactly how they're gonna take everything in i think straw goes down the middle i would assume yep all right well that makes things nice and easy cool beans so let's pop in and see how the animals are doing uh health is going up that'll probably be at 100 by tomorrow in game productivity that's going to go up as well uh they have plenty of straw they've already <laughs> I haven't even been in here for like 10 minutes and they've already made 5,200 liters of slurry. So that's going to be nice as well. Uh, I know there's some people that say you're supposed to use slurry for precision farming. You're not supposed to use slurry for precision farming. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I guess we'll find out eventually. Let's put this to the side and, and maybe pick some of this stuff up. We also need to get some planting done too. So we've got, what, two fields that need to be planted. I don't know if we're going to do corn. I think we may go back to some uh, swathy crops, something like that. Peas were fine. Uh, comments from that video were absolutely hysterical. So thank you guys. Uh, you did not disappoint whatsoever. <laughs> let's see if this actually worked. Uh, let's see here. Can I hit both? Oh, it's a stretch. Well, we got both of them. Uh, the only problem is the other uh, area, that grass field that we're doing right now, there's no way this is going to be able to reach. So yeah, that's 
So much fun. Well, let's take a look and see. I thought it would be a good idea to do it like this and hire a worker up, but it looks... Oh, 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 hang on. Yeah, no, this actually works. I don't, I don't know if the other side will work or not, but this is working. Ooh, I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see if we can hit into the interior just a little bit. There we go. That way, when we turn around, we'll be just fine. Man, we've already got 130,000 liters of grass. Yeesh. Honestly, I'm kind of glad that I'm utilizing this piece of equipment again. I know I use it all the time, but boy, oh boy, does it make things easy. And not only about making things easy, uh, it saves me a lot of time. So much time. Let's head over here. Let's go ahead and drop this off into the fermenter. Oh, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. Back it up just a little bit. There you go. We'll double check this just to make sure everything is good. Yes, yeah, so we got another 570,000 liters of grass in there, turning all that into hay. Now we need to see, is this going to reach? So around the first headland, that's fine. But now we're just going to be going back and forth, and this is going to be the real test. Can I reach both sides at the same time? No, not even close. Oh, well, that is what it is. What are you going to do? Mowing's done, and I had an idea while I was mowing. Why am I making TMR? <laughs> we could buy it for so much cheaper than we can make it. Oh, I don't know. We could take this field, put, oh, I don't know, a different crop in it, and then just harvest it. And then we could use the money from that crop that we got from doing other stuff, like making bread and uh, pineapple juice or whatever. And, and, and then just buy the TMR. Seems like a good idea to me, but you never know. All right, let's fold it up. Let's get out of here. Uh, we got another 700,000 liters off of this, bringing us up to a little over uh, a million liters total, which is good because that's how much food we need in total. The nice thing is that's how much hay we're going to have in total. <laughs> that's so much. The other thing is I've wasted a lot of money on these silos right here. Well, Wasted is a uh, strong word. It would be wasted if I don't make my own TMR. Because I've it'd probably invested, I don't know, a million plus in all the, these. With all the expansions and additions and upgrades and stuff. So what I'm thinking is maybe all that stuff I just said. Yeah, just, just kind of ignore that. Ignore what I just said. We do need to get in there and start planting the... Let's do it, man. It is time for precision farming. Do, do, da, da, do. The theme song for Precision Farming. I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, you knew that or not. Precision Farming has got its own theme song. It's very similar to the Farm Sim Show song, um, but but not as bad. Not as bad. All right, let's put down some lime. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do this field. Yeah, a little bit. It needs it just a, a little bit, not a whole lot, which is nice. Uh, this is a good thing about Precision Farming. You can do a lot of this stuff, and it doesn't take much especially after you've done it for two or three harvests at this point. Definitely one of the more boring jobs that we've got on the farm, but it has to be done so that we can get 100% on all of our crops. And this is uh, this is it. We really didn't use too much. I think maybe about 120,000 liters of uh, lime. Not a lot, which is very nice. So now we need to figure out, well, one, what are we going to plant? I think the grass is probably good. We may just leave that as is. At least for now, anyway. I think we need to do that. But the other fields, we definitely need to do something about those. I am thinking um, maybe some oils. So we could do like sunflowers and canola. And I think we're probably good on flour for a few years in game. So maybe we need to start thinking about oils. The only thing that we've got there is there is no oil factory. So we jump in here, as you can see, there is no oil factory. So we will need to put one down. We won't make any money off of selling any of the oils, but I still think it's a good idea. So I'm thinking maybe we plant sunflowers in the same field that we did the corn in. I think this is probably a good idea. And then we could jump in here and we'll do canola in the other field. It's actually really simple, very easy. And if you haven't seen these, I'm using some modified, uh, real, real fun uh, bits right here. So these will go super duper fast. Uh, the planters will plant literally anything that I want. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the dirt effects back there, too. This looks so cool. Oh, I love it. So this will give us a nice little harvest for the next time. Kind of change things up a little bit. Uh, the canola we could also go through and do as a, uh, as a, the, the, one of those crops, but just send the thing with. Yeah, 
You know what I'm talking about. Swathable crop. There we go. <laughs> Those are the words that I was looking for. So yeah, but there's kind of not much else to do other than just kind of get a little bit of planting done. I'm going to go probably two passes around this. Try and straighten some stuff up the second time around. That way, whenever I hire a worker, uh, they could just go and get this done as quickly as possible on their own. And we'll probably do something very similar on the other field. I also saw some people in the last uh, last time we planted talking about when they seed versus fertilize when using precision farming. Uh, of course, if you do uh, fertilization after you put the seed in, then it's fertilizing per the crop and the ground to give you the perfect 100% not just uh, putting it all in when it just does the thing. Now, uh, on the soil. When you do it like that, you're also gonna find that maybe you have too much fertilizer. That's not always a bad thing, but uh, we're just going for regular 100% today. So I'm just spending a little bit of time in here trying to get stuff planted. Uh, got a couple headlands done on here, and I don't actually know how this guy's getting along. Oh, perfectly fine, sweet. Well, that makes me very happy. This field's going to take us a little while longer. Not too bad. It'll take a little while longer. So we'll go ahead and drop this down and hire up Zuecair. Very cool. All right. Now I'm going to go through. We need to do some fertilizing. The first fields are going to be the grass fields. Shouldn't take too long. Should be nice and easy. Also, I think I want a front weight for this tractor. It feels, I mean, I know the stuff doesn't weigh much in the back, but I feel like we should get a front weight. So let's get one of those. Sweet! Bam! Got it. Oh, and I need to fill up with solid fertilizer as well. Don't know how much we're gonna need, but I'm sure we're gonna need quite a bit. I also don't know how much I have. Did I just crash into that? Ah, I think we're okay. Let's see, we'll double check real fast. We have 200,000 liters of lime, but only 28,000 liters of solid fertilizer. Ooh, that's not good. We may have to come through here and get some of that done. First things first, like I mentioned, solid fertilizer. Oh. How about our cows? Oh, I'm so curious what the cows are made. Whoa! 10,000 liters of slurry already? And they've almost made 1,000 liters of milk. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. That's super cool. The last time we fertilized, the grass field really didn't need much fertilizer on it. However, I definitely need some this time around. So that is good. At least we can get the grass and the fields back up to 100% and ready to rock and roll. So we'll uh, we'll kind of leave you with this for a hot minute. I'm sure you know what fertilizing the field looks like. Just a little bit left on this field and we're kind of ready to go. We'll jump over there and we'll help them out with the canola a little bit. You can see right here, we've got a little bit more that needs to be done. We'll go ahead and turn this on. We'll hit this quick. This will be super duper easy. As far as this goes, I'm not quite sure uh, where we're gonna start. Maybe here and then flip it around and hire the worker. That may be the best thing to do. I don't know. We've got to jump in here and see what happens. It looks like our other worker is doing just fine, so that makes me happy. We're going to line this up here, get us a straight line on that side, more or less anyway. And then we'll head up to the left side. Oh, yo, that almost lined up perfect. Look at that. Yeah. And then turn left. Ha <laughs> ha. The only thing is, this worker over here is going straight up and down. So I think what I'm going to have to do is do the exact same thing here as well. I don't know how he's gonna do, but what I may end up doing is just firing him at the very end, flip it around, and just create a straight line. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be what we have to do through here. That's okay. Hey, uh, tell me, what is the like the weirdest thing that you have to do when planting or seeding? Is there something you're like, yeah, every time I gotta do this with this one field because of this, or something like that? Am I the only one that just prefers straight lines? Yo, it's working! Yeah, only had to make like three or four passes. And then it's gonna line up perfectly down here. Oh, very, very cool. Looks like we got a little bit of a spot up there that's gonna have to be done, and this curve is gonna be very interesting. But you know what? This is working. This is working just fine. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, love it! All right. Uh, we do have one field over there that is done, so we should probably find ourselves a solid fertilizer. There he is, and hit this field as we need to. We'll go ahead and do that right here. Oh, this is gonna take a lot of fertilizer. Wow, check this out. He literally ran one pass and got stuck in the woods. Can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. <sighs> 
Come on, man. Just do your job. Uh, we do have one guy here that did his job and did a great job. Did this whole field almost a little bit of it by himself. Oh, uh, yeah. A little bit from like here to the right. Oh, -huh. well, here we are. Everything is all set and done. We've got a refill, but oh, slow it down. We're going to go ahead and put this away and we will double check to make sure that we've done everything that we need to do at least today before we take off. So let's park it up, drop it there and see what we've got. So the first things first, did all of the fields get all the stuff they needed? I believe they did because I remember, <laughs> well, seeding, fertilizing, liming, all that good stuff. How's the butt manure? How are we looking over here? 4,100 liters already. Heck yeah, man. We'll definitely be utilizing that. Let's take a look at our cattle. How are they doing? Um, not too bad. 787 liters of milk and 10,000 liters of slurry. Goodness gracious. We didn't get any sheep, but I think we have too many cows. So there's that. How's about our productions? How are they doing? Let's see. We've got 6,000 liters of fine corn and 15,000 liters regular flour very nice but what about the bakery i see some boxes how are we looking over here let's take a look and see so we've got our sweet cornbread look at that oh, i love that box that looks so good and then we've got some regular bread as well so all of this could be sold probably not right now but later we'll get all that done later as a matter of fact i wonder will the global goods transport pallet work with this so let's see are any of these modded things in this so there, there's peas and all kinds of stuff there's dried corn um productions will it do all the regular productions there's all the stuff from the platinum dlc oh 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 i think well that's popcorn uh i don't i don't actually know <laughs> What does the logo for that look like? Yeah, I don't think that the Global Good Transport Palette will load these. Maybe, but um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tempt it. I think at this point we could probably go ahead and set these up to work for us rather than against us. So let's jump in here. The grain mill. We're gonna want this stuff to distribute. Corn flour. We don't have that either, but we'll go ahead and set it to distributing as well and we'll set that to distributing so that is over there and our grain mill then we've got the bakery uh we could probably set this stuff to sell on its own at this point i think that's probably the way to go so we've got in our bakery and we want to visit deactivate ah here it is change output mode selling 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 now we should just get the money from that instead of having to worry too much. Uh, TMR and the fermenter silo, all of that is good. Uh, corn dryer, we probably want this to sell, spawn, distribute, distribute. So now everything should work on its own and we shouldn't have to do any more messing with any of this stuff. What I am going to do real quick is go and take this over and we'll finish our loop that way we don't have any pallets on the map okie dokie we have delivered some of our dried corn and let's see if we can bump in here i'm guessing this will auto load yeah it'll auto load just fine i'll uh, see we don't have the regular pallets, so grab that stick that there grab this and put that there load it up cool beans now where are we gonna sell this well this is interesting um i could sell it to the bakery is that right i don't think uh that's weird yeah we're not gonna worry about that we're gonna take this over to the diner which is literally across the street and then around back this should also sell for a lot there's not much there yeah there's twenty six thousand dollars for three pallets yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. And we got some bread here as well. Looks like the sell everything is going to be the way to go for this. And that is just right across the way. Right here. Perfect. Let's just be able to... Your mom's not accepted here. Uh, I love how it says bread's not accepted here. And it's like, oh yeah. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> cool. So we shouldn't have to do any more pallet moving or anything like that. Uh, we do need to get this guy here. 
We'll take this. 15,000 liters of flour. This will at least get us moving and get us started. There we go. Overload it. And then now we can get rid of that back piece because we don't need that anymore. So this can go back to the main farm. We can put the tipper on this, use this for our uh, cattle feeding or something like that and be good to go. So I think that's about all the trouble that we can get ourselves into at least for today, but I'm sure in the next one, we'll have plenty more things to get ourselves in trouble with.